I actually have a good friend here that uh, kind of just stopped or stopped near where he lived one day. Many people have roadside stands where they'll be selling coke and water and that sort of thing. And so for whatever reason, whether I stopped for gas or water or something that day, met him and then uh, continued to, to stop by when I would come back and forth on kind of missional uh, obligations up in here. And so he's become a friend and, and we've stayed in touch even through COVID back home. He did a video call, wanted to see what was going on um, that we couldn't get back into Cambodia and that sort of thing. So excited to see my friend up here along the way and then headed to the, the kind of the main event, the point of, of this mission really being the pastor's son a couple hours away. So this is my day today and hoping to get back in time to have dinner with my wife and maybe do a few things later this afternoon, later this evening. Praise the Lord for abundant life in him. He keeps things exciting. So he sells food along the road. I think he's selling fried fried uh, bananas and he sells ducks too. So before he, he still sells these ducks in the evening. But um, throughout the day now, to make more money, he, he used to sell about uh, 15 to 20 ducks per day, he said, before COVID, and now COVID's down to about five per day on average. And so to make more money, fill in the gaps, Cambodians can be very resourceful. He's frying bananas and selling those along the road. So um, that's very common to, to, have, to see fried banana along the road and also potatoes. So he's frying potatoes and bananas, selling them on the along the road. And this is kind of his process. He has a little batter here. And then he puts the, puts the bananas in and fries them in here and then uh, takes them over to the place to sell them. So he puts the banana into the wax paper, smashes it down, and then puts it into the batter, and then into the fryer. Pretty neat. Good hi, Aunt. Come out now. Now it's hot. Ready to go. The word for banana here is Jake. Sounds like the name Jake, like Jacob. So he's frying Jake. Baby chickens, he said they're 25 cents each to buy. Wow. Now when they're fried the first time, he gives them another batch, another coating of batter and puts them back in. Oh, la, oh. Wow. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. And he buys the um, group of bananas. And he buys a batch of bananas for 25 cents, he said. Plus the ingredients to cooking fuel and that sort of thing. When COVID hit and things got tough for him, he developed a way around. He, he maneuvered down a, a different side street to get where he's going to be able to survive and live another day and thrive here in these difficult circumstances. Cambodians have been through a lot from Pol Pot, the genocide back in the 1970s, on through, even before then, history tells the tale of a lot of suffering for the folks here. And through generations, I think there's, they've really learned to cope and learned to survive under difficult circumstances and even to thrive. 
kind of no matter what. So you could say against all odds, Cambodia is a good example of a nation that gets pushed around a lot and trampled underfoot and insists on pushing forward, insists on surviving and thriving regardless of what happens. And I think that's a great, uh, I think we could apply that to our Christian walk. That's how the Lord would have us to be, that no matter what's thrown at us, we continue to fight forward, to fight to follow the Lord. This life isn't easy and He never promised it would be. It's going to be wrought with challenge, right? We must endure much tribulation to enter the kingdom. Praise the Lord for the grace to make it through the trials that are laid before us. He wouldn't take us to it unless He's going to pull us through, right? Praise the Lord.